Hello, third graders. Thank you for joining me today. Um, we are talking about the character trait of effort. Um, other words like grit, perseverance, um, basically sticking to something um, to find success. Um, the book is called The Most Magnificent Thing. And then at the end of the story, I'll provide a challenge for you to take. The Most Magnificent Thing. This is a regular girl and her best friend in the whole world. They do all kinds of things together. They race, they eat, they explore, they relax. She makes things. He unmakes things. One day, the girl has a wonderful idea. She is going to make the most magnificent thing. She knows just how it will look. She knows just how it will work. And all she has to do is make it. And she makes things all the time. Easy peasy. First, she hires an assistant. I love that. Next, they gather supplies. They set up somewhere out of the way and get to work. I love it. it. Does not look very out of the way to me. I love the humor in this story. The girl tinkers and hammers and measures and her assistant pounces and growls and chews. When she is finished, she steps back to admire her work. She walks around one side. Her assistant examines the other side. It doesn't look right. Her assistant picks it up and gives it a shake. It doesn't feel right either. They are shocked to discover that the thing isn't magnificent or good. It isn't even kind of sort of okay. It is all wrong. The girl tosses it aside and gives it another go. And that's that grit and perseverance we talked about. She gives it another go. She smooths and wrenches and fiddles. Her assistant circles and tugs and wags. And when she is finished, she stands up and takes a long look at it. Her assistant gives it a nudge with his paw. The thing is still wrong. She decides to try again. The girl saws and glues and adjusts. She stands and examines and stares. She twists and tweaks and fastens. She fixes and straightens and studies. I love all the effort that she is putting into her project. She tries all different ways to make it better. I love all the pictures. She makes it square. She makes it round. She gives it legs. She adds antenna. She makes it fuzzy. She makes it long, short, rough, smooth, big, small. Um, she even smell. Oh, one even smells of stinky cheese, but none of them are magnificent. Her hard work attracts a few admirers but they don't understand. They can't see the magnificent thing that she has in her mind. She gets mad. So this is where that growth mindset of mistakes and learning, this is where the character has a little struggle. And I know we've all been there, I've been there. You just get frustrated sometimes when things aren't working out. Like turning the page. The angrier she gets, the faster she works. She smashes pieces into shapes. She jams parts together. She pummels the tiny little bits in. Her hands feel too big to work. And her brain is too full of all the not right things. So she's focusing on the failures instead of the good stuff. 
If only the thing would just work. Crunch. The pain starts in her finger. It rushes up to her brain and she explodes. It is not her finest moment. Have you been there? I have been there. I try not, not to go there very often, but it happens. I'm no good at this. I quit. Her assistant suggests a walk. It's always great to have someone who's in your corner to encourage you and support you. It's not much help at first. But before long, she starts to feel different. Bit by bit, the mad gets pushed out of her head. As they stroll along, she comes across the first wrong thing she made. The bad feelings are about to start all over again. Then she notices something surprising. There are some parts of the wrong thing that are really quite right. The bolts on one, the shape of another, the wheel to seat ratio of the next. There are all sorts of parts that she likes. By the time she reaches the end of the trail, she finally knows how to make the most magnificent thing. She gets to work. She works carefully and slowly, tinkering, hammering, twisting, fiddling, gluing, painting. Her assistant makes sure there are no distractions as the, the cat, um, squirrel is chased away. Meanwhile, there's other distractions up here. Um, this is the perfect thing to ward off bears. This will stop that leak. This one's all wet. The afternoon fades into evening. Finally, she finishes. She alerts her assistant. The pair take a good long look. It leans a little to the left and it's a bit heavier than expected. The color could use a bit of work too, but it's just what she wanted. They climb aboard and take it for a spin. They are not disappointed. It really is the most magnificent thing. Um, this book has such a positive message for kids and grown-ups. Um, we all get frustrated and things don't always go as we wish. Like right now, I would rather be at Star with you, but we are dealing with this for now. So let's make the best of it. Um, let's make a challenge and let's rise to that occasion. Just like in the story, the little girl does not give up. She keeps working and persevering. Um, today I thought it'd be fun to do kind of a you make it activity. Like the little girl used things she could find, things around her house, around where she lived. Um, I collected a few things. Don't laugh, this was in my recycling. I have a box, an old glue stick. I have a cup, some straws, um, some bottles, things like that. I challenge you to create something, your most magnificent thing, just like the character in the story. I'll put some ideas on our Google Classroom that you can take a look at later, and I'll show you the simple thing that I made. I made a stay sharp box. Um, I had an old tissue box and I found some cactus wrapping paper that I love. I love succulents and I love the puns you can make. Stick to it, stay sharp, um, stick together. Um, this is a stick to it guessing box. I thought it'd be fun to take it around to my, um, to my family members or I could even do it um, on Facebook. To a, to a family member or friend. And the goal is to put something in the box, shake it, and have the other person guess what might be in the box. 
It helps your mind think. It helps you think creatively. And if you struggle, ask a friend. Stick together. Um, in this box, I have, do you have a guess? In this box, I have some pennies. So just a fun thing to do. Create something. Make your most magnificent thing. Um, I wish you luck. I wish you all the best. I miss you very much, um, third graders, and I look forward to seeing you soon.